Aaron Welcome Yost. back. Thanks for staying with us. We were treated to a pretty nice day out there today. Of course, we did see some daily convection. We had enough instability to trigger a couple of showers and very isolated weak thunderstorms in central Montana. But all in all, it was a really nice start to the weekend. And that got me thinking we're 36 days away from that official first day of summer. It is going to feel downright summery here as we move into the next couple of days. Uh, the warmest we've been so far in 2021, you can see right there on your graphic, uh, we've got Haver at 82 degrees. A lot of these were reached in late April. Great Falls 80 is the highest we've been so far this year. Helena 81. Uh, we're going to one up that as we move into Monday in particular. We've got some folks that are going to be potentially in the upper 80s, maybe even some low 90s. Now, typically this time of year, we shouldn't really be talking 90 degree temperatures. We see our first 90 degree day sometime between mid June through the first week of July. Now this is Great Falls specific. Our average first 90 degree day usually comes around June 23rd, but we will be flirting with it as we head into early next week. So as I'd mentioned before, if you really like the weather out there today, Monarch, this was earlier this morning, you're gonna love the next couple of days. Uh, now we are still dealing with a little bit of, again, instability across the Northern Rockies. We've got a system down to the South and a path passing disturbance right now in the northern Rockies, which have allowed some of those mountainous uh, daytime uh, pop up showers and thunderstorms to develop a lot of the activity in central Fergus County outside of uh, Lewistown and Coffee Creek area right along the Judith Basin. Uh, region too, and that is going to continue to kind of filter out as we move into the next couple of hours. Not expecting anything severe, but just pay attention to the sky. If you're a rumble of thunder or two, unfortunately, this sounds kind of bad to say. If you're if you're close enough to hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. So be safe out there. It is a gorgeous day, though. Otherwise, outside of those isolated showers and thunderstorms, we've got 73 in Helena right now. Out at the airport, Great Falls, our Great Falls Clinic eye cam showing you. All that beautiful blue sky, 71 degrees, our current reading out at the airport. We've got 62 rain cooled degrees in Lewistown, 74 for us in Haver, 70 in Cutbank. Now overnight tonight, a lot of us going to be dropping into the low mid 40s. So pretty comfortable evening ahead of us. We will see decreasing clouds as we move into the day tomorrow. High pressure starts to build into the region and that's going to allow the good stuff. A lot of sunshine to be had. Slim chance south of Interstate 90, way down there in south central Montana for a pop up shower thunderstorm. But in our viewing area, we will be dry. We will be sunny out there and the temperature is responding nicely. Uh, this should say Sunday's high. Sorry about that, folks. We've got 80 tomorrow, Great Falls, 74 in Lewistown and Harloton. So again, a lot of really nice weather to be had. But now Sunday afternoon into Monday afternoon, watch that H. That's our ridge of high pressure. That's going to build right over us. And we start to see a south to southwesterly flow because those things spin clockwise. That's going to crank the heat for us. So we've got our record high potential on Monday. Great Falls, the record there is on the left. What I'm forecasting is on the right. Helena 86, Great Falls 86 on Monday. We'll see if we can make it into record high territory. It's looking very promising. Get out there and enjoy it. Tuesday, that ridge starts to shift a little bit more to the east we start to see it break down and a low pressure system move closer and that is going to change things up for us in a big way the second half of next week.